What's up everybody, if you guys are new to my channel, take a moment to crush that subscribe button if you guys haven't already. We also like to play machines with payouts, such as Stacker and the Keymaster. Do we hate them? Yeah, but we still play them for you anyway. Now, we're going to do some pointers on the Keymaster, real quick. Now, the prices do vary per play depending on where you are located at and the company that runs them. I have seen Keymasters range as much as $1 per play and as low as $0.50. Cents. Now, the trick is to the Keymaster. Remember this, the very first row has an easier payout rate payout ratio more or less compared to the second and third row. Why is that? Well, that's because usually the vendor puts candy in the Keymaster I play at the very on the first row. Then they put uh, in the second row they put um, like mystery minions and the little mystery packages. Uh, things like that. And then in the very third row why is it so difficult? Well, the vendors like to try to make as much money as they can off of that major prize that they put in that uh, top row, such as head, your little earbuds, MP4 players, and fishing rods, or fishing reels, I should say, not rods. That'd be insane, right? If you see fishing rods in a Keymaster, <laughs> it'll never happen though. But anyway, well, and people have always asked, why are machines set the way they are? Well. If the company does not make a profit, well, then guess what? They're not going to make any profit at all. They're going to lose money. They're going to lose money, so they have to make the make the machines where if they make a profit off of that certain item before it, that machine gives it out. Now, how do you know if the key master is not due to pay out? Well, it's simple. If you're going for something, say you're going up for the second row, and you're perfect and you let up off of it, and that thing goes up next rent, that is how the machine ensures that it does not pay out again once it does pay out, say. That's just the way that machine works. Another payout machine, Barber Cut Light. Well, what about the Barber Cut Light? How is it easier to win? Well, trick is. If you notice that the uh, string is frayed, you go for that item first. Because you know chances are you're going to win on your first shot, if not the second. Remember that. Prices also vary on the Barber Cut Light also. I've seen it as high as $1 per play again, and as low as $0.50 cents per play. Now, back to the Keymaster. The clock automatically starts counting down as soon as you put the money in it. All right. Well, here's the trick to this one. Since you guys know that the clock counts down as soon as you put the money in it, this is what you do. Know what you want first before you put your money in, and that clock starts counting down. That way, you have less of a risk of running out of time. Thanks again, guys. We'll talk to you real soon. And remember, don't forget to crush that subscribe button. So you will be notified the minute I up new, upload new claw videos, new videos of Keymaster and other things like that. You will be notified. Thanks again. I'll talk to you real soon.